This is my trigonometry course. Today you're going to calculate your final course grade. So you should be done with the final test. And the uh, homework is going to be worth 400 points. We're going to scale your uh, total homework score. And uh, there's four tests, each worth 100 points, and the final, of course, is worth 200 points for a total of 1,000 points for the course. Now, calculating your total test scores is pretty easy, but the homework is going to be a little bit more involved. So what I want you to do is write all these yellow numbers here that represent your homework scores if you haven't already done that and uh, the green here that's uh, those are numbers that are different because uh, there weren't a lot of homework problems uh, assigned so in order to make the the number more representative of the the assignment I gave more more points than the, the actual number of problems so just be aware of that so Go ahead and add up all your homework scores. Each practice test, as you can see, is worth 25 points. And the practice final test is also worth 25 points. And the total number of raw points is uh, 519. Now that m might change slightly uh, if I add more problems or subtract problems in the future but the number should be roughly 519 but uh, your homework is only going to be worth 400 points so uh, this number here that is so how are we going to make the points uh, add up to 400 well you're going to divide 400 by 519 and then you're going to multiply that by the total number of points that you actually earn, the raw, your raw homework score. And here's an example. So let's say that you earned 460 points out of the total 519. You're going to do this calculation, and this is going to be your raw homework score. So it has to be between uh, 0 and 400. So let's say that you earned 460 points your raw homework score will be 354 and here's an example so let's say you had this homework score this is your scaled homework score and these are your uh, scores in the tests and the final test so you add those up and we see that we're around uh, eight in the 800 range so that would be a B in the course so this is just how you can determine your performance in the course. So I'm going to leave this here so you can get a screenshot and do those calculations because it may take you a while but I've added up all these numbers for you so it shouldn't take that long. They add up to 519. Now if you want something to put in your binder you can take a screenshot of this here Sorry, it's not wanting to focus in on the center there. Take a screenshot of that. And you can put your name here. And uh, write all your scores, including the, the test scores here. And add up all your, your final scores and give yourself a, a course grade. So again, if you scored somewhere in the 700s that's a C, the 800s is an, a B, uh, 900s is an A, and anything below that means that uh, you probably just didn't do the homework or you didn't study for the tests. So if you pass this uh, if you pass this uh, course, good job, you now have plenty of trigonometry to go up into math analysis, pre-calculus, calculus, and so on. So if you pass the course, I'm proud of you. Good job. And uh, the next course that you're going to take is typically called pre-calculus in the United States, but it's also called math analysis. 
So I'll see you in that course.